Arthur Morris was Australia's number one opening batsman after the Second World War. He was a magnificent hooker of the ball. Um, he played the cut well and his cover driving was just a joy to watch. He'd made his debut as an 18 year old and he'd actually scored two centuries in his first match. In 48 test, the Oval, people forget that Morris was the outstanding batsman of that tour, the Invincibles tour, making more runs even than Bradman. It left spaces and uh, it was a quick ground, fast outfield, and uh, we were able to get cracking. I think I, out of my 100, I had 24s in my first 100. And that was probably the best innings Arthur ever played. Without him, uh, it would have been much more difficult because we had to get away to a, an early start and a quick start. And uh, Arthur was the prime one who gave us that start. Today's play was the true greatness of the innings of Morris. His century marks him out as the ideal opening batsman, both technically and temperamentally. This left-hander is going to be a great thorn in the side of English cricket for many test matches to come. As the news of his masterly innings was flashed to the other end of the world, the England team began to see that the only way to get him out was to carry him out. But when he'd scored four short of the double century, he was run out. A sad finish to a great inning. He played some marvellous shots from Bradman. Said to me, I don't think I've ever seen a better left-handed than this The man famous is. innings where Bradman was bowled by Eric Hodges for a duck and therefore didn't average 100 in Test Match cricket. Morris was at the other end. When people say to Morris, do you remember it? He said, I remember it. Where were you? He said, I was at the other end. Are you at the other end? Oh, did you make any? He says, 196. He was a little different from a lot of left-handers. Very compact and neat as you would expect. He hit a lot of balls back where they came from. He used the pace of the ball very well, deflecting beautiful leg glance or leg glider, perhaps they called it, and back cutter of the ball. Not spectacular, but calm and well worked out. He was a thoughtful person and a very pleasant man.